Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and uh, Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading April 29th to uh, May 6, 2019 and uh, as I'm shuffling the cards, um, just bear with me a second guys as I am uh, shuffling the cards and we're gonna go uh, directly to the spread. Oops. <clears throat> All right, so uh, the first card which marks the Capricorn's topic of the week, that is going to be the Seven of Swords, followed by the second card, which is the challenges that uh, Capricorn needs to overcome here, that will be the Knight of Swords. Third card, uh, which is the positivity out of uh, the Capricorn's week here, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. And then the last one, which is the uh, guidance that Taro is offering to you, that will be the Four of Pentacles. So uh, once again, Seven of Swords is the topic, followed by the Knight of Swords, which is the challenge. Third one, that is going to be the uh, Nine of Swords, which is the positive aspect of the week. And the last one, that is going to be the Four of Pentacles which is uh, the guidance that Tsar is offering to you. So for what it seems, guys, that is going to be a week of a um, quite of a big arguments, that is, because uh, it seems that you will have to uh, overcome that challenge of this stubborn person, oh my God. And uh, generally as a topic, the Seven of Swords, uh, how can I place it? Well, literally, uh, this week is going to be a week where you will have to basically kind of like exert your opinion all right storm your situations and uh, so on and so forth but going more profoundly into the spread the topic itself that is going to be the seven of swords and as you can see here the person abandoning the war camp okay on the background of the scenery taking only five swords leaving two on the ground meaning that the person takes only what the person uh, what belongs to the person or what the person has earned it through the war and leaving moving you know to a uh, a new direction therefore this card really uh, m many people are interpreting it as a uh, a lie or a liar you know being deceived and so on and so forth mm. It does depend which side you're taking, because if you are on the war camp, on the side of the war camp, and you are relying on this person, yeah, they have deceived you and they are walking away, basically. But if you are in this person, then it means that you do have the strong backbone to realize that you are leading a battle that it is not your battle, all right? So literally, the topic of the week here, it is where you realize that, that you are um, contributing into a war, that it is not your war. Therefore, having the strong backbone, having the strong spine to storm your situation and to uh, demand what you have been owed, take what you have been owed and move on towards your own personal agenda is going to be the topic itself. So uh, this card itself could represent that you will stop um, 
how can I place it, contributing into certain projects, associating yourself with certain people as well, leaving maybe relationships or uh, starting a relationship despite that that is a controversial opinion of others and so on and so forth. The uh, seven of uh, swords uh, as a general topic represents the two Capricorn this week have to start thinking for yourself rather than to think for others and to start doing things that actually benefits you instead of doing things which benefits um, others. The accompanied card here that is going to be the um, tower card so the formation is a active friends and it does mean that the storm is going to be quite big i mean as i said that you will have to storm your situation the arguments are going to be quite big and uh, with the tower it does look like that the week itself is going to be full of a turmoil full of um, a crisis as well uh, in a sense of where many things are going to be shattered many things that you personally built as well uh, in a sense of you know relationships i'm not talking about intimate relationships guys it could be friendship relationships common known or, or, or relationships and so on and so forth but yeah many things that are not entirely yours that is are going to be shattered into pieces uh, and uh, they like i said they will not be entirely yours for example you know you contribute into an important project in your job which is not your project and you realize you know that you are just being bossed around and there is no reason for you to contribute anymore because there is nothing into it for you any longer therefore you leave and that shatters the project all right completely shatters it same thing can can start uh, can uh, be said for friendships and relationships with these cards however through the shattering of those things through the destruction it is how you grow basically because this tower card here points that should you start thinking first and foremost for yourself then you are to provoke a growing and healing energies in your life but the challenges themselves are going to be really that person here which is the knight of swords so knight of swords a person with very agile mind very intelligent person but unfortunately they are very stubborn and tenacious as well also the knight of swords as a person it is someone who is very pushy and bruising as well and how they're going to contribute into that is probably that um I don't want to say that they don't they will not want to let you go all right but it's more like um well it's difficult to explain it guys um it's uh it's more like that they will try to talk you out um presenting you not exactly fictions as facts but trying to diminish the benefits of you moving into singular and your own personal direction like for example being with someone or starting a new job and so on and so forth but, uh, you know, instead, this uh, Knight of Swords will try to present an argument where you rather should not do that. What I mean is that moving into your own personal direction. I need another card just to um, be able to say more here because it could manifest in many ways. So uh, we do have the, the Queen of Pentacles and the formation is active to active uh, active enemies. Uh, forget what I, everything that I said about the Knight of Swords at the start of the card, guys. Actually, uh, this person is will want to walk with you, all right? They will want to walk with you uh, toward your agenda and toward, you, and toward your new goal. But unfortunately, they will be a dead weight. I mean, that person is from the past and they have no business whatsoever with your new um manifested endeavors that you are to provoke through the crisis through the storming of the situation through showing your strong backbone so the challenge here is going to be to banish that person away from you like for example you know you may want to start a new business and that could be let's say your son who is using family bloodlines to get involved into the business but in the same time you know that your son for example sucks being a businessman and you don't want your son to have a participation into the business and it's going to be a challenging for you you know to um kind of say no because after after all it's your blood you know and if you say no uh, that may hurt the family bloodlines or kind of like the family relationship but once again like i said at the start here capricorns you need to have that strong backbone you need to have a strong spine here to stand 
for yourself. You need to stand for your personal rights. And it is what you're going to do throughout this week, April 29th to uh, May 5th, 2019, despite in which field of life that reading uh, manifests for you. So the next card, which is the positive aspect of the week for you guys, that is going to be the Nine of Swords. So you are, first of all, you will very well be aware of uh, how much it takes uh, to uh, to go after whatever you are after. And as well, uh, you are going to be able to overcome a, a severe fear that it is chasing you. And that could be fear of money. That could be fear of not being loved, you know, or that you will never find love again. That could be fear as well of responsibilities. Or in generally, it could be fear that you may not be able to, to push your things, uh, to push that thing here, your own agenda on your own. So you will be able to overcome it. Additionally to that, the a uh, nine of swords it does points that you will kind of having an uh, um how can i place it a a true vision upon what it takes so you are to prepare yourself very firmly for what comes after after you start your new uh, new path that you are to walk uh, that you are to walk over the accompanied card that is going to be the um <clears throat> ace of cups formation is active neutrals so uh, literally what the Ace of Cups here points, guys, is that you are as well are going to um, have that awareness that sometimes, you know, you have to fight fire with fire and playing and kind of like mitigating with, uh, with fire, people get burned. So you will have to burn things, uh, figuratively speaking, that is, uh, throughout, uh, throughout this week. And as well, this is a, a good sign that this... Um, situation you are creating for yourself where you're standing for your own rights or what comes out of it it is not based of coincidence it is not based of a gift of the universe itself but it based itself on personal performance or of your performance in other words what comes after that it is something that you very well uh, deserve now because the uh, Ace of Cups sits on a neutral position. It could be a little bit difficult, you know, to enjoy the process because, uh, for example, you could be someone peaceful in nature, you know, and as we we, we are seeing here into this spread, uh, there won't be anything peaceful in this week. I mean, you have to be ready for war. Not saying that you will have to be a warmonger, but at the end of the day, if you don't stand behind what you believe in and you don't withstand the opposition, then what you believe in doesn't matter at all. And that week you are to stand behind what you believe in and you are to withstand uh, this, um, this position as well uh, with a rather aggressive fashion and that will uh, bear a rather very sweet fruits moving uh, forward into the future. And the last card, which is the guidance for you Capricorns, that will be the uh, Four of Pentacles. So uh, first of all, this card asks you to obtain a very defensive position regarding your possessions, regarding your opportunities, regarding your marriage, regarding your uh, job as well, or regarding your agenda in general. You should not allow anybody to influence your agenda, your path, your goal, your relationship you know your marriage or or your career in any way that they can additionally to that the four of pentacles here points that you can make some brilliant moves throughout the week to establish a secure future for yourself future where you are to find very comfortable and very lucrative as well the accompanied card here that is to be the six of swords formation is a passive uh, passive enemies so secure future it is as the six of swords it's a very risky card in general what i mean is that it's a threshold of a fear but what we said is that you are going to overcome your fears and do overcoming your fears of making any actions moving forward you will have no um doubts in yourself you will have no remorse of doing whatever in case uh, as long as this doing of yours it's uh, it's it is improving your circumstances either relationship or career wise and in general what these cards here are pointing is that you are to establish that comfort zone of yours a comfort zone that you are not going to feel yourself threatened you are going to establish your marriage in a way that you're not going to feel it threatened you're going to establish your career path in a way that you're not going to feel it threatened and so on 
and uh, so forth. It does depend where this uh, reading manifests itself, in which field of your life it manifests itself. So that being said, guys, this was your weekly tarot reading for May 29th to uh, uh, April 29th, excuse me, to May 5th, uh, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.